So Kevin was talking about North 40 a little bit. Now I've got some more stats here. I did use an electronic device to add them together. Okay. <laughs> so far this year, they passed for 167 yards. That's a very deceiving stat. I would say. Uh, but it, it is also a telling stat uh, because of the offense that they've, that they've moved to. It, it isn't generated off of a lot of passing. It's not, a, it's not a pass generated offense. It's more run, 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 just set up the pass. And uh, much like Russ, Russ, uh, when they threw the ball, they threw it well. You know, when they had to, they were lost, they were trying to get that point, you know, those, those points back. But uh, their quarterback, I, I would say North Warren's quarterback, to me, is one of the better ones in the district. He's, he's tall, he's, he's over six, you know, six two, taller, uh, over 220 pounds. When they do throw, he's very accurate. He actually is not, he's not mobile, mobile per se, but he can move well. Uh, but the scheme that he's in is generated for them to run the ball. I am totally expecting them to come out and throw the ball, to be honest. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he got into some form of spread offense, which is what they did to his last year. Um, if you remember back, but this kid, he's coming out party with him last year. Because uh, Armani was a quarterback and then he made a move against us and it was a good move for him. So the kid has a lot of good and they have the ability to throw. Another deceiving and knowing, or I haven't seen Armani watch like I have. Uh, three games, two hundred. Uh, question from uh, a former coach. Administrator what are the tendencies that North 40 has that we will take advantage of? Well, the thing about North 40, uh, you know, I, I, I have a tendency to only speak about offense because I don't have a defensive minded uh, coach, but so I'll start with offense. They have a few tendencies, of course. Uh, they have playmakers that they want to get the ball to. Monty Watts being the the one, so they have a tendency to to, uh, you know, to find ways of getting him the ball, moving around on offense. Uh, but they are pretty sound, sound at what it is to doing the running game. Uh, but so there aren't any just blaring tendencies as far as down and distance or you know, formation. If they're in this formation, they're going to do this. Uh, but there are some regarding you know, who it is that they're going to get the ball to. They'll run the ball into the shallow side to switch their way to the right side. And they'll run it to the wing to switch their way to the slot. You know, you know, they have a bit of a tendency in one particular formation. I really don't want to discuss that over here, ladies, but their tendency more or less is we got to get the opportunity to make the ball and he's got to do something with it. Defensively, they'd like to keep seven in the box and then they're going to, they're going to try to stop him with seven and cover him with the other ones. And so they, they might stray away from that a little bit with maybe some of the success that they had in the past game last week. I doubt it. But uh, you know, if they do that, then you know, good for us. If they don't, we just got to make it happen to be able to establish a game somewhere. Kind of like, kinda like what uh, Ron Washington says, you do with the game. <laughs> you do with the game, they, they, you do what you do. You do what you do. <laughs> All right, last question. Kerry Harwell, Rep. Hendrickson, Shipley, and Ryder. Uh, going up against North 40 this Friday, will it give you a pretty good gauge of where we are as a team and where we'll stand in the district? Well, you know, I know where we stand as a team. You know, the positives and the negatives. I think Friday, the only thing that Friday will, will do is it will put us in a position me to go the virus. I don't think with the loss it was going to say, oh, all of a sudden this team isn't what I thought it was. No, that's not that's not going to be the case. If we go out and just you know, smash them or get the win that, that it, we, we're expecting to get, that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, now, with the loss, will that, that, uh, will that put us behind the eight ballers? Yes, indeed it will. Uh, but the, the the outcome of the game, I don't think it's going to scream to me. It might to others, but to me, my staff and my team, we know what we have. We, 
know our weaknesses, we know our strengths. Uh, we're going to continue weekly, daily, to work on our weaknesses and to try to improve our strengths. So, uh, I guess that's the best way I know how to answer that question. Go ahead, Todd. Well, when you talk about North uh you've got a lot of, uh, because of the proximity of the two schools, a lot of the kids know each other. Uh, a lot of them hang out together in the off season and stuff like that. There's probably a little extra trash talking going on behind the scenes and, and that type of thing. Is that something that you can then translate into a little uh, extra motivation that the kids uh, use as, as a little extra motivation? Oh, of course. You know, I mean, I knew that they knew each other. But one day, you know, going to the film room with the defensive staff, and my kids were like, oh, that's such a such Oh, that's such a such. It was like, <laughs> Like, we all family? I mean, that, you, know, you got really that close to where you know first, last names, number, jersey numbers, stats. Like, good man. Y'all should be running the defense and field session and you know that person. But, I mean, so yeah, I mean, definitely those kids know each other and they know their weaknesses and strengths. Uh, but, yeah, so, you know, I wouldn't call it a robbery game per se, but it has the makings to become one. Kids over there on that team that went to school either a year before, and, and uh, a lot of kids, a few kids, are cousins, you know, uh, one side or the other. So, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a fun fact that it's involved with that. Is speaking of rivals, you say? 27 yards rushing. I would imagine uh, if you don't play good run defense or body blocks, you have that against you by yourself in one game. Well, the kid has that type of ability, no doubt. Uh, no doubt at all. I think it's a deceiving stat because of who they play. Uh, that's really, that yardage, you know, is really two games. So he's really, he's a 100 plus yard rusher in uh, Because against Ennis, uh, he only, you know, took the ball once or twice for nine, three yards, something like that. Uh, so, it's a very deceiving step. Lonnie Watts is as advertised. He is, and we would like to say in the culture world, he is a stud, and that, that's what he is. Is it hard to have an off week during the year? And if the answer is yes, is it better to have it before district starts? It, it is. It is a challenge. Well, you know, it, it's challenging, especially in you know, your situation like we're in, where you're coming off, of, you know, back-to-back -back losses. Coach Gary and I were actually talking about this on the phone last night. It's tough having an off week, you know, when you don't have any more memory. Because you have to, you have to grind it out. It's just really, there's like, there's no off week. Uh, you've got to grind every day because you feel like there's, you can't take a day off because you can't give an inch.